Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Tuesday, July 9th, and today I'd like to talk about fulfilling oaths. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So friends, we know that there are times in which we make promises. And in colloquial terms, when we speak of promises, it's things that we commit to to one another. An oath is a little heavier than a promise because an oath usually involves some reference to God or calling God to be a witness to what is promised. And so an oath has more gravity. Now we should fulfill every promise we make, but when we make an oath, we are making a promise and we're asking God to be the witness to that promise. So this becomes an oath. Now that's very important because if we say we're going to do something, we take an oath and then we don't fulfill it. Not only are we showing a lack of justice and charity to our neighbor, but we have just asked God to be a witness to a lie, to a deception. And that's where an oath especially becomes more severe than a promise. So again, we should, as people of integrity, try to fulfill every promise we make but we should be very cautious when we take oaths and when we make them that we fulfill them because we're asking God, our Creator, our Father, to bear witness, to give testimony that what we have said, we are going to do. So oftentimes when we think of oaths, we might think of people who enter public office or people who are becoming judges. But oaths can be taken in any form, in any fashion. It's a promise in which God is invoked as a witness. And so, friends, I want to encourage us, let's be cautious about the oaths we make. And when we make them, let's do everything we can to fulfill them and to to fulfill them virtuously. Now, as I say this, I want to highlight that we can never take an oath that is against God. So an oath has to be within faith and morals. If an oath is made of free will and it is within faith and morals, we are bound to fulfill it. We have to. If for some reason we cannot fulfill an oath, then we are called to repent before God because you've asked him to give witness, to be a part of something that turned out to be a lie. So friends, watch your oaths. Make sure you make these oaths cautiously. And when you make an oath, do everything you can to fulfill it faithfully. And those are our thoughts for today. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting the good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.